Hello friends and welcome to another episode of Cycling Insider. In this episode, uh, let's talk about an interesting bike from Giant and it's gonna be the Giant TCR Advanced Disc 2 Pro for the 2022 season. As you see, it's an absolute mouthful of bike names for this uh, Giant model. But, as always, uh, we will see when we dive into the specifications why I think that this is an excellent offer from Giant. So first thing first, let's talk about the retail price of this bike. So you see the retail price is 2,900 US dollars. And when you ask yourself who is this bike for, I mean Giant TCR platform is all about climbing lightweight and stiff bikes. And this is an absolutely excellent example of a proper lightweight uh, climbing bike. So if you are in the market for this type of the bike, then definitely need to check the Giant TCR platform for the 2022 season. So 2,900 US dollars is a very attractive price in today's bike market. And for that money, first of all, you get a choice of two paint schemes. One paint scheme is this pretty classical carbon, as they call it. I would just call it, you know, black with a hint of uh, light blue pretty decent, but then they have this absolutely stunning paint scheme which, they'll, which they are calling hematite or I would just call it, you know, bronze paint scheme with a hint of black. It's absolutely stunning paint scheme. I would definitely go for this bronze paint scheme and I would strongly suggest to Giant to use this bronze uh, paint scheme on many other Giant models because it's just beautiful. So now we can dive into the specifications of this bike and let's really see what do you get for your hard-earned money. As always, we kick off with the frame and the fork on this bike. So the frame is uh, advanced grade carbon fiber frame from Giant, and also the fork is the advanced grade carbon fiber fork with the full carbon fiber overdrive steerer from Giant. So the frame, internal cable routing and the press fit bottom bracket, Shimano press fit bottom bracket, and also internal cable routing on the fork side and we have a flat mount disc brakes uh, front and the back. Uh, this frame and the fork should absolutely be superb from Giant. Giant has a huge knowledge and heritage in making excellent carbon fiber frames and forks. And also don't forget that you are getting a lifetime warranty with uh, Giant's uh, carbon fiber frames and the forks. So absolutely superb, no complaints here from me. Now let's talk about the handlebar and the stem on the bike. Handlebar is the Giant Contact aluminum piece and the stem, again, Giant Contact aluminum piece. I'm so glad that the Giant has separated handlebar and the stem, so it's not a one-piece affair. This is easy to replace, easy to service, uh, easy to set up your position on the bike, absolutely superb. These are aluminum pieces, but make no mistake, they are super quality pieces from Giant, and if this really bothers you, it's always easy to upgrade in the future. As it is now, just superb. Seat post on this bike, luckily, a Giant has included their a Giant variant composite, carbon fiber seat post, superb choice, that's what you want. You want a carbon fiber seat post to soak up uh, so many of the smaller road bumps. So top notch here. And of course the saddle on this bike is the Giant Approach, so Giant own saddle. You know recently Giant saddles are very good and I personally like them, but if you don't like this saddle, very easy to replace since you know saddles are a personal preference, just you know find your desired saddle and keep it as long as possible. Now let's talk about the group set on this bike. So what are you getting for 2,900 US dollars? So the whole group set on the bike is the Shimano's 105 mechanical group set. So this is 11 speed group set and it's a absolutely perfectly fine group set. Uh, it is a workhorse, I would call it from Shimano and in my opinion, so shifters front mech and the rear mech, everything is Shimano 105, it's gonna work perfectly fine. Braking system, Shimano 105 hydraulic disc brakes, top notch. And here the only small complaint is that, okay, they have used the giant MPH rotors. I absolutely have no clue about these rotors and what's the heat dissipation. So this is a little tip for the future. Once when you destroy these rotors, please do buy the Shimano's Ultegra level braking rotors. It's gonna have a superb heat dissipation and the Shimano's ice tech, ice freezer technology. And also here I'm noticing that the front rotor is 
160 millimeters, while the rear rotor is only 140 millimeters. So again, I have no clue why Giant did it. I would immediately correct it if I'm, you know, a giant, so I would immediately fit a 160 millimeter rotor at the back, but also a tip for the future, when you destroy these rotors as they are on the bike, please buy yourself, you know, 160 mil rotors front and the back, as I said, Shimano Ultegra, and you will have such a superb performance in braking and also heat dissipation. A cassette on the bike, no cutting corners, Shimano's 105 cassette, 11-speed cassette, this is 1130 cassette, very nice range. It is paired with the KMC X11 EL chain, so a little bit deviation from the Shimano group set, but make no mistake, it's an excellent chain. And then again, Shimano's uh, own 105 crank set, which is in this case 3652 chain rings. So when you look at the 1130 cassette paired with 3652 chain rings, I believe there should be no problems in climbing any steep mountains. If you really want in the future, you can fit maybe 1132 cassette, but as it is now, I would stick with this 1130 cassette. Uh, press fit bottom bracket, as I mentioned from Shimano, Shimano standard. I am not expecting any creaking noises because uh, Giant's own carbon fiber frames should have a very good tolerance. And as I say, no creaking noises should be expected on this carbon fiber frame. Now let's talk about the wheel set. So you see the wheel set is probably the weak side of this bike. Uh, but they had to save money somewhere. So this wheel set is the pretty basic uh, Giant PR2 disc wheel set. So this is a classical aluminium wheel set from Giant with Giant's own hubs, sealed, bear, uh, sealed uh, bearing hubs, 12 mm true axles on this wheel set. So I would expect this whole wheel set to be just decent. It will definitely you know, serve you for a few thousand kilometers, but then again, it's easy to upgrade and replace. Also, <clears throat> I would just mention here that this wheel set, this wheel set uh, should be tubeless ready because Giant will deliver you the tubeless tape and the tubeless valves, so everything should be prepared. And this wheel set is also wrapped in the Giant Course 1 tubeless tires which in this case are uh, 28 uh, millimeter tires. Again, superb choice because you will have so much more air volume. And again, I would advise you in the future to keep the 28 mil tire from any other manufacturer. You know, you can use a Continental, Pirelli, Goodyear. There's so many uh, good tires out there. Specifically, Giant didn't uh, give us the precise bike weight, but I would expect for all this in some kind of size 56 or medium, I would expect it to be around 8 kilograms, maybe 8.2 kilograms, so in my opinion a very competitive bike weight, but keep in mind that the, definitely the secret sauce of this bike is a superb carbon fiber frame and the fork from Giant, their, their Giant TCR, which are usually very light uh, carbon fiber frames in the fork. So in the future, if you really want to do some upgrading on this bike, you will always have a very good base in a very light uh, carbon fiber frame in the fork. So, in a summary, considering the retail price of 2,900 US dollars, uh, what is my advice to you? Should you just go ahead and buy it, or should you maybe just consider this bike? I would definitely say that you should go ahead and buy this bike because considering this retail price of 2,900 US dollars and everything that you get with this bike, I just think it's a superb offering from a Giant. So I think this is going to be it for today. I hope you like what I'm doing and if you do, please do subscribe, hit that little like button, keep on watching and as always, I will see you soon in the next episode. Cheers!